Yes, we are talking about essentials. Let's get started. Hi, beauties and curls. Welcome back for another video. I know it's been a while, but I needed to take a break just for some mental like self-care and also some just self-care in general which i totally believe every woman every man should do do some self-care go travel just you know free your mind and that's something that i had to do but in this video i wanted to share with you guys some of my summer essentials so without further ado let's get started okay so in this summer's essentials i am going to be talking about fashion i'm going to be talking about hair care a lot of hair care and makeup and skincare okay so the first thing i have been loving are like lightweight kimonos i'm wearing one right now this one is from forever 21 absolutely love it you can put a tee and some jeans under it and dress it up with a kimono i have several i know you guys have seen them set you know several ones on my channel but i absolutely love kimonos i feel like that they are a piece a fashion piece that's super snazzy that you can add to your wardrobe that does not cost a lot of money i feel like that this is essential in any person who is a coconut lover and that is coconut oil if you love coconut you should always keep it around it is hot in la right now that's why you know coconut oil it it that's one of the things i love that is it emulsifies so easily this one is butcher's boys and this is a cooking one i got this actually from big lots and i think it was like five or six dollars but it's 100 percent refined coconut oil i use it to pre-poo i use it as a sealant i use it um to add to my deep conditioners more so pre-poo and sealant but i absolutely love that i also use it on my body you guys so love that another thing that i have been using in terms of oils is this is the maui moisture heal and hydrate i've talked about this before absolutely love this this is definitely a repurchase for me and this would be a summer holy grail a summer essential so love that these are three products from diva curl you're going to see this in the empties video again but this is the diva curl no poo this is the original this is not the decadence this is before the decadence but this is a no poo i love this this has zero lather it's sulfate free it's gliss no not glycerin it's sulfate free paraben free silicone free i really like this and um it really conditions my curls i feel like they really hydrate it's a cleansing conditioner so it's zero lather and it's really creamy and i can detangle with this shampoo which is amazing so i can kind of skip the conditioning and instead of co-washing because my i get product build up really fast i can use something like that okay so two things i have been loving are the diva curl leave-in decadence and also the frizz free volume foam i do have reviews on both of these so i'm not going to talk long about these these are silicone free paraben free and sulfate free i like these i use these as a combo this is my leave-in and this is my styler it gives me moisture and this one actually gives me some volume if you have fine thin hair i think you would really like this they do contain glycerin but my hair tends to be okay with glycerin right now because of the dew points, not necessarily because of the product. So I wouldn't be using these in the winter months. That That's the reason why I want to get through summer uh, with these. And But my hair has been loving them. The other thing I have been loving is the Micro Exfoliating Scrub by L'Oreal. I really do like this. This is actually a vegan product from L'Oreal. Get excited about that. And it has it says it's a natural it has natural botanicals and has the label 100 percent vegan i am so excited about that but this is used to remove gently remove flaky buildup it's a scrub like a pre-cleanse before shampooing your hair to remove buildup so i suggest using this maybe once a month especially if you're going to the beach you know um sand is getting in your hair and you know you want to remove like build up from the hair this would be a really great thing to use and it has amazing slip okay so let's talk about two products that are glycerin free you know a lot of you all are in climates that are very that have a lot of humidity and so these two products i have been loving this one is by she scented i have been falling in love with she scented and this is the boabab fluffy curls leave-in conditioner this is a leave-in conditioner that is super runny and i love that because people with fine thin hair 
our hair tends to have a lot of product buildup and sometimes you want volume but you need to layer your products so it is goopy and i love it it reminds me a lot well you know what i have a dupe series so i'm gonna hold it i am going to hold it oh my goodness i just i just thought about that but anyway this is the she scented leave-in conditioner i really like it and instead of this you know when i want a little bit when i want to be defined a little bit more i want some more moisture this is something that i go to and i love it is the camille rose coconut water style setter i do have a review of this so i definitely link it up in the cards or down below if i haven't run out of the eye the eye cards to the side but this is a style setter now i use this either to twist my hair after a wash and go products like this are really good because your hair already has holes from the gel but at the same time it's gonna it is gonna give you some hold but this i love because it's super runny as you can tell and i just really enjoy it it has a lot of moisture i can use actually use this as my leave-in and my styler if i don't want to like fuss with my hair too much this is like a one-stop shop type of product but i really do enjoy this i'm gonna put a little in my hair i really do enjoy this it smells amazing and if you are coconut water i don't know if this would really if you have a problem it's coconut water but i really enjoy this it has a ton of moisture and a balm oh and it's glycerin free hello i had to say that hypo girls you know how we feel about that say it with me glycerin is the devil next thing i have been loving is the kills ultra facial cream i talked about this before i really do enjoy it it is almost gone it's creamy i feel like i can use this day or night it does not have spf in it so you do have to go on in with an spf products but i'm going to show you one that i use either i can use on top of this three products that i'm going to mention i am so adamant about spf so i want to talk about my spf favorites my first one is the murad this is the essential c day moisture bra spectrum spf 30 this is so good you can tell that i'm halfway through this is like a one-stop shop if i don't want to do moisturizer um just by itself this is like a moisture rising products with spf in it i couldn't get that out but i really do enjoy this it has some active ingredients in it and i like it because you can use this on your face your neck and your chest i love this murad is a great brand now let's take it up a notch with these two i have fallen in love with kula so hard you guys and this one i have loved for a while now and i wanted to talk to you guys about it this one is the kula full spectrum 360 these are the sun silk drops now this is a new product to them and i love that it protects you from uva uvb and blue light i know there's another name for it if i can remember i'll put it on the screen but for those of you that use your cell phone a lot if you're in front of a computer i am in it this is something that you definitely want to get this actually protects your face from the blue light and there are rays from the blue light so that is damaging to the skin i use this and i actually use the dropper i love the fact that it's actually a dropper okay so i put a couple of these drops i instead of using a primer this reminds me so much of like on it's on the lines of the smashbox primerizer those type of things that are like moisturizing primers i love this because it moisturizes and gives me protection so i take it in my hands and i press it onto the face that's how you want to apply spfs and spf should be the last thing that you apply before makeup and you want to apply this 15 minutes before you actually go outside so i really enjoy that this i actually have on today i love 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 this and this is the kula organic bb plus cream but i love this it's cruelty free it's vegan it's plant protection it's antioxidant enriched i love this it gives you a natural glow without even putting on a moisturizer under if i just had to like run out the door i could use this it's going to give me moisture it gives me a beautiful tint and a glow i highly recommend this if you guys want like a, a stop shop one stop shop and it comes in 1.5 fluid ounces which is like 
a bottle and a half of foundation. It is so beautiful. I definitely want to wear this again and it does give me that September of 2019 is when this expires. I love that about Kula because I also have when this one becomes inactive. So I love the fact that it tells you when these are inactive and they're glass bottles and these are beautiful. It comes in a pump, but I love it. One more thing I forgot to show you guys is this SPF Sport. This is a sunscreen spray by Kula and I love it. It smells like guava mango. It smells so amazing and it's for the body and the neck and um, i've been loving it as well you do have to reapply every 80 minutes and it's water resistant so i really do enjoy this i've been using this for myself and the kids it has an awesome mist everybody it's all about the mist with these so yeah i just wanted to show you guys this so let's talk in terms of makeup. I have been wearing things that are very, very light, like lip glosses. I am in love with Buxom lip glosses. This is in white Russian. I also have Dolly right here. Love these. Foundation sticks. I love these because these are fast ways to put on your foundation. I have been loving Makeup Forever. This one is in Y505. I have been using this to bronze and contour. Use this as a, you know, a bronzing sticks you have as you as you would know but i've been loving this of the georgia armani luminous silk this is in a project pan meaning that i want to run out of this before i hit fall been loving this as well my smashbox primer water gone and that's just this is just kind of like a sneak peek of what i have coming for my project pan also i've been loving the Chocolate Soleil. This is the old packaging. This is the Dark Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced. I love this. It gives me some serious warmth and smells like chocolate. Hello. I'm trying to smell my calories rather than eat them. I'm not showing you guys this, but I have been loving this palette. And it is the Tarte. This is the Clay Play. This is the Face Shaping Palette. I love this. I have been using this so much. I have this on today. I can use this to set my under eye. I can use it as eyeshadow. I can use it to sculpt my cheeks. I can use it as a bronzer. I love this. It has an amazing mirror. Tarte has great mirrors. And one more thing I want to talk about in terms of makeup are blushes. I have been really on a blush kick. Um, the first blush I've been using is the Liquid Blush by NARS and Dolce Vita. I love this. This gives me a um, nice, I feel like that this is a great year round blush actually. And if you have dry skin, I think that you would love this. It's lightweight, you don't need a lot. And in the winter months, something like this you will like because it's a liquid that turns into a powder that doesn't really make you look dry, but it goes matte. I love this. Actually, I have been using this a lot. This is from the Balm. This is Girls Getaway Trio. It comes in Balm Springs, Balm Beach, and Balm Desert. I have been loving, loving this middle shade and I'll, actually all of these shades. I love this, what is this, Balm Springs. This is so, Balm Desert. I have been loving Balm Desert. It is such a beautiful, like this is such a, a be beautiful bronze brusher. This is a bronzer blush and I really like these. I really do like this. I feel like that this is a really great palette. I have been in love. I know you guys watched a video and you asked me what palette I was using. It had kind of like a smoky cranberry, um, kind of like a red with a wing. I love this. Modern Renaissance, y'all. I'm back in love with this again. I'm so glad I used this and I'm going to probably put this in a pan, that palette, just because I am over the Lorac, y'all. I am so tired of that. I am like uninspired about that uh, palette and it's not necessarily, it's a great palette. I just feel like I want some more pizzazz. I feel like, you know, with using it, I've got some good use out of it though, but it's amazing. I like it. I have been loving is the Perception Palette by ColourPop. I absolutely love this palette. If you, this is great. This is probably the, to me, this is the ideal palette for travel. You have your shimmers, you have great transitions. It's just a great palette. It has an awesome mirror. It's like a nice size i feel like that this is amazing this is one of the most underrated palettes of life i feel like everybody talks about it but not enough to me and that is the persona palette by 
Persona Cosmetics. I really, no, it's the Identity Palette by Persona Cosmetics. I'm sorry. I love this palette. I did do a review on it. And you can just get some easy, really quick looks. I feel like this is a palette that I'll never get bored of. And I like that it has your neutrals, but you can also come out with a cool tone look. I love this. Talked about that a ton, but I've been loving it during the summer. And this Alemar palette, no, this is called Reina del Caribe eyeshadow palette. It's by Alemar Cosmetics. Okay, so I got that right. I have been loving this. I know it doesn't look like it. I have been using this that much, but I have been killing La Costa and El Male Malecon. I love Ale Malecon. Oh my goodness. That is such a beautiful shade. And y'all, it's like a greenish gold. It is like greenish olive. Oh my goodness. It looks so good on the eyes. I used it during vacation. I've also used Coco Taxi and Tropico. I also use Guantaranera and also Cafe Cito. I love these. I just haven't used the blues, Varadero or Celia yet, but I love this palette. The only thing I think it needs is a mirror, but this Alema Cosmetics, hello to my life. So guys, I just wanted to show you guys, I totally forgot to share with you guys the bag that I have been wearing non-stop that actually Forrest owes me dinner for, actually dinner and dress, because I went to a conference, actually went on vacation too, and I got so many compliments for this bag. It's the infamous Cult Gaia bag, and it is like the alternative like summer bag. I got so many compliments on this bag because it is like Japanese inspired, like art, art, architectural, architectural, yes. So I wanted to show you guys that, and I forgot my, these are the Black Fades by Key and Desi that I absolutely love, and Joseph has also. Joseph, what has been your favorite? A hat? Oh, yes, a hat. So I'm wearing the kimono today because I've been wearing these nonstop. Been wearing these. I, my hair products I showed you guys already. And this is the Buxom Gloss. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I just wanted to interject and show you guys. I know I'm vlogging a little bit, but I wanted to show you what I have been wearing. And uh, yeah, back to the video. So those are my summer essentials, you guys. I have, will definitely be rolling these into the fall months. I have been absolutely loving this. So I just wanted to share with you guys what I have been loving for summer. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you hadn't already. And I'll see beautiful you in the next video. Bye, guys.